The world of agentic shopping is coming sooner than we all realized. Today, I'm gonna to share with you an incredible update from Shopify and their new OpenAI partnership. We're gonna dissect this thing entirely, and I'll also give you my opinion as somebody that has hundreds of millions of dollars in revenue from clients on Shopify across our softwares, across our brands, and I have a pretty good perspective on where this is going to go, but I want to read everything about it with you here so that we can dissect it together. Now, first and foremost, right here you see it. This is the official announcement from Shopify. So they're saying Shopify merchants will now be able to sell directly through ChatGPT conversations. No links or redirects, just seamless commerce. So basically the way this is going to work is just like this. Let me actually just delete that. So I'm looking for a lightweight trail running shirt, right? And then boom, they just prompt you to buy it right then and there. This is such an incredible update. So Toby Lucky himself here, uh, he quoted it. He said, Shopify merchants will be able to sell directly in ChatGPT. We've been working with OpenAI for quite some time so people can search and buy products in chat. And it's something we've had a hard time keeping quiet about. Rollout is coming very, very soon. So yeah i could see how this would be very hard to not talk about because ChatGPT is one of the fastest growing products of all time there's millions and mil hundreds of millions of users um, probably billions in the next coming years and a lot of these people are of course searching for a variety of products and things and information and the fact that now you can get your shopify store to show up directly in those search results but not only as a recommendation but also with the actual checkout link right then and there is gonna just completely revolutionize e-commerce. Now, one interesting piece of data that I wanna share with you, just to quantify how powerful this can really be, is the global e-commerce sales forecast for 2025. So this is also a report by Shopify. And honestly, shout out to Shopify. I, I absolutely love this company. That's all I wanna say real quick. Um, shout out to Shopify, but global e-commerce sales are forecasted to hit $6.4 trillion worldwide in 2025. That's an insane amount of money, right? I mean, the US uh, GDP, I believe is like 32 trillion or something. So, you know, that's like one fifth or so of the US total GDP, which I mean, it actually kind of goes to show how big the US market really is. But it also goes to show how powerful e-commerce is becoming and how big it will continue to become. This is only in 2025, right? Imagine now with agentic shopping being a thing, how much this is going to increase, right? Because one of the biggest reasons why this isn't bigger is probably because people don't even know what they need, what they want, uh, you know, what the best options are. People are lazy. They don't want to really do a ton of research all the time. And this solves that problem. So very interesting just how big this can get. Now, I also want to, let's just continue here. So reimagining commerce for the AI age as more people turn to AI to help with shopping decisions, Shopify is ensuring those conversations lead to our merchants. That is amazing. Um, I actually can't believe Shopify locked this down. I'm so excited that they did as opposed to Amazon or TikTok uh, because Shopify just gives you so much more control as a business. If you're on Amazon, I mean, for I, I'm an owner in some Amazon brands, for example, and I got to say, although Amazon is pretty cool in the sense that you get a lot of organic traffic through it and people trust it a lot, it's also, it feels like you're at the mercy of Amazon and every day, you know, you could get a band or a Chinese knockoff kid just ri like rip your spot in the, uh, in the search algorithm and you could get pretty screwed. And I've actually seen it happen with people that are big in the e-commerce space that have eight figure brands on Amazon that disappear overnight pretty unbelievable stuff. Not to mention, you can't really do retention marketing on Amazon. Uh, you know, email marketing is one of the most powerful ways to make a huge profit on your e-commerce store. Uh, I actually own an agency, for example, where we do front end marketing, right? Like meta ads, TikTok ads, the team does, I don't, you know, uh, the team is better than me at this stuff at this point. Uh, but we also do retention. We do email marketing. And that's where a lot of the brands that we work with actually make a huge amount of profits. So that's one of the things that I love about Shopify, right? Is that you can actually do retention marketing. 
Now, I want to quickly also watch the video announcement by Harley Finkelstein. So this guy is the president of Shopify, and he's a pretty awesome guy. He's super active in the community, and it just goes to show how amazing Shopify is as a company and how much they truly actually care about their merchants. So let's just watch this announcement video. I didn't get to see it. I wanted to save it to watch it with you guys. So let's see Everyone, it. Harley here, and we're announcing a really exciting partnership today. Shopify is partnering with OpenAI to bring commerce directly into ChatGPT. That's right. Now, in addition to asking ChatGPT for advice, you can also ask for product recommendations, you can shop around, and you can check out, all without leaving the chat. It is pretty amazing. And to let you in a little secret, while we might be announcing this today, we've been building for Agentic Commerce for a long time now, and we are so excited to see it rolling out. Now, this is Shopify's superpower. We constantly anticipate where consumers will be shopping next, and then we build accordingly. So our merchants are always one step ahead. Now, here's the thing. Commerce never stands still. We've seen it move from storefronts to search engines, from social feeds to the metaverse. Every time we've built True. the infrastructure so our merchants <laughs> can meet the customers wherever they are. So welcome to the new frontier. Conversation-driven commerce, no friction. Just a shopper, a question in some context, and a purchase right inside the conversation. Wow. Let's go. Shout out to Shopify again. That's actually a really good point and a good perspective. Shopify actually has always allowed merchants, their merchants, to sell literally wherever their customers are. Even in video games, right? I, I made a video a few months ago. Um, or at, hey everyone, at least I Harley talked here. about it. Oh. And we're I talked about it where Shopify actually rolled out a Roblox update. So like you could literally sell your products in Roblox, which is just crazy. I don't even know how that works, but long story short, uh, this is going to be incredible. Now, hopefully you're still with me, right? I'm just trying to give you everything and I'm trying to dissect everything here. I want to share with you now the open AI announcement of this feature because we saw Shopify's POV, but let's actually look now at chat GPT. OpenAI's product uh, perspective on this launch. So they're saying buy it in ChatGPT, instant checkout, and the agentic e commerce protocol. We're taking first steps towards agentic commerce in ChatGPT with new ways for people, AI agents, and businesses to shop together. Uh, and I do like, I think this is worth noting first steps. This is literally just the beginning. Imagine where this will be 10 years from now. I mean, imagine where Shopify was 10 years ago, right? And where we're at now. I can only imagine how much crazier this will get. So as you see, more than 700 million people turn to ChatGPT each week. Oh, wow. So I was pretty close on that estimate of uh, users for help with everyday tasks, including finding products they love. Starting today, we're taking the first steps towards ChatGPT, helping people buy them too. Beginning with instant checkout, powered by the agentic commerce protocol built with Stripe. U.S. ChatGPT Plus Pro and free users can now buy directly from U.S. Etsy sellers right in chat with over a million Shopify merchants like Glossier, Skim, Spanx, and Vory coming soon. Today, Instant Checkout supports single item purchases. Next, we'll add multi-item carts and expand merchants in regions. So, so far, it's only single item purchases. So, shout out to the one product stores out there. Again, this isn't rolled out to every single store out there, but this is just the first steps into what the future holds for Shopify merchants. We're also open sourcing the technology that powers instant checkout, the agentic commerce protocol, so that merchants and developers can begin building their integrations. The agentic commerce protocol is an open standard for AI commerce that lets AI agents, people, and businesses work together to complete purchases. We co-developed it with Stripe and leading merchant partners to be powerful, secure, and easy to adopt. Wait, this is actually super interesting. This actually leads me to think that in the future, they will also enable the same feature for software, which is pretty exciting to me because I love software. I think software businesses are awesome. They're a little bit more difficult to create value in than e-commerce because e-commerce is physical products. And, you know, we use thousands of physical products in our day-to-day -day lives. And of course, we use software products too, but it's just a little bit harder to create value in that space. It, it can be very expensive to develop. Whereas in e-commerce, you could literally just launch a product tonight on Shopify um, and see some sales tomorrow, right? Uh, with software, it's a little bit more difficult in some ways, but that's pretty interesting. Now, I will say Shopify's, this is why I wanted to look at both perspectives because ChatGPT's 
uh, vision here is actually a lot broader than just Shopify, uh, which is pretty exciting, of course. And it's part of a thing that I want to continue to talk about. I mean, of course, I'm a huge Shopify advocate. I'm in the Shopify Commerce Coach program, uh, which, by the way, you should totally check out. You should actually start a Shopify store with this link right here because you can get a dollar a month for three months on Shopify. This is my personal link. Yes, I get paid whenever you actually fulfill a full three months with Shopify. Uh, but it's such an incredible deal that I want to promote it with you. And, you know, there's like a little competition going on right now with the commerce coaches in the back end. Um, so if you want to help your boy out, this is a good way to do it. Start your store with this link, share it with a friend, share it with your family, whoever is looking to start a Shopify store. And if you do that, send me a DM and I'll send you a, an exclusive breakthrough advertising GPT that we actually use at our agency for a lot of our clients to create incredible marketing copy. So Breakthrough Advertising is a legendary marketing book for advertising, and we trained a GPT on the entire book so that you can just literally ask anything to it and it'll give you incredible answers, especially if you're looking for ad copy for your ads. Now, I'll give that to you for free if you use this link. Just DM me, send me like a screenshot of you starting your store. Um, it's absolutely free, like it's actually free to do, but then it's only a dollar a month for three months. Um, so yeah, ChatGPT's perspective definitely seems a little bit broader, which what I was where I was heading with that is that you should always keep your mind open to business, right? Like everything you're doing in your business, you're learning from. And when you're building an e-commerce store, what I love about it is you literally learn skills that can be applied to any business. And I just believe that people who are successful with Shopify are like, way better entrepreneurs than probably anyone else because it's not easy and if you can apply those skills in the future to for example a software business you're actually going to find that the principles still apply and i've seen that myself right i actually developed a software shopping lab with my team my team developed it to be fair um, i'm just helping with the vision and understanding like the best way to use this um, and it's been an incredible experience definitely difficult but a lot of the things that we're doing in our e-commerce stores or for our e-commerce clients, we're applying for these softwares to grow them. And actually at the agency, we do have software clients as well, and we apply the same principles. So it's always good for you to you know, keep an open mind and keep an open, yeah, just keep an open mind, right? To everything you're learning and every business opportunity. This is just my personal philosophy, of course. Um, you don't have to follow anything I say. That's why I like to show you just a ton of data in my videos, right? Because the numbers are there. Uh, there there's just a lot of truth in these numbers, right? Obviously, numbers can be skewed, but uh, everybody has an opinion online. There's a million gurus telling you this, that, and the other, but the data is just a lot more straightforward and clean. So that's why I love to share that first and then give you my opinion later if you care about it. But Ultimately, I'm just super excited about this era of e-commerce that we're experiencing. Uh, I say that a lot, and it's just, I personally see it becoming better and better for people who want to become entrepreneurs. Like, this world that we live in is literally just going to be dominated by entrepreneurs because we're getting so many incredible tools to build businesses and create value that were just not there before, right? A lot of people feel like they missed the boat in 2018, 2019 e-commerce or even before that. Um, I feel like right now is literally the best time to get into e-commerce that I've that I've ever seen in my life. Um, I'm definitely doing this. I'm launching a lot of stores these days. I'm building tons of partnerships. Um, and it's just incredible. Honestly, I'm investing in brands too. So that's kind of one last thing I want to share with you. I'm definitely looking to invest, especially in emerging markets right now. Uh, I've been getting hit up by a variety of people that have really cool e-commerce business ideas or already, actually I prefer to invest in stores that are already launched um, that I wanna help out, right? I mean, we have so much data and an incredible team and a ton of resources to help merchants out there. And that's sort of the mission behind Shopee Lab and really what I'm doing right now in general. So. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully it was educational. Um, ultimately, I just think it's going to be, I mean, there's a lot of technicalities here on how this actually works. Um, you know, we could maybe go through it, but I'll leave the link to both of these uh, documents in the description so that you can see them and go through them yourself. I don't want to bore you to death. 
uh, with all the technicalities, but you can review it yourself. And of course, I would love to know your opinion. What do you think about this? Maybe there's some concerns here that you have that I'm missing. Um, let me know. I, I'd love when you guys actually contribute to the research too, right? Like it's so powerful when we all do research together and share it in the comments. So literally whatever you have to say, say it in the comments, whether it's research, whether it's just your opinion, whether it's just you want to say hi, you know, whatever it is, let me know in the comments. And I actually look at all the comments. So yeah, that's about it for this one. See you in the next one. Peace.